in this video, uh, we're going to talk about ellipses, okay, uh, and their equations and how to put them into the, each form. Um, but before we do that, these are all, so circles and ellipses, these are all types of conic sections. And the way that conic sections arise is just by cutting like an hourglass shape. Okay, so if you cut it levelly, um, you get a circle. Okay, on an angle, that's how you get an ellipse. Um, steeper angle, so it, where it doesn't go through uh, both sides. Um, then you get a parabola. Okay, and then if you go through both the top and the bottom, that's when you get um, a hyperbola. Okay, so that, that's how they arise. Um, in this class, well, we are going to talk about parabolas um, eventually. Um, <clears throat> and you've probably seen those ones before. We already talked about circles. Uh, so now we're going to talk about ellipses. So the definition for an ellipse, okay, so we have a little picture here that was taken from the textbook. Um, so I'm going to tell you the definition and then we'll talk about it a bit. So an ellipse is a collection of all the points P in the plane such that the sum of whose distances from two fixed points um, called foci is constant. Okay, so the sum of their distances from two points, so here in your graph, here's foci 1 and foci 2. If you take any point on the on the ellipse here, the sum of the distance between those between the two points, the sum of the distances from the point on the thing to the two points is constant, so it's always the same. Um, the vertices are the points uh, where the ellipse um, intersects the uh, major axis okay now the major axis is just the longer one okay so whichever one is longer um, that's the major one. So here, this is the major axis, and the minor axis is the um, more narrow one. Okay, so this is the longest one. This is the um, shortest one. Okay, so that's how you can tell. Um, <coughs> so the definition of ellipse involves these foci. Um, but the equation does not, okay? So the equations that we use don't use the foci. Um, they actually use the center, okay? And then the distance, the radius of these axes. Um, so to keep these things simple, we're not going to use foci in this course, okay? So we're not really going to talk about those points, but they are there um, for the ellipse, okay? Now, what does the equation of the ellipse, ellipse look like? Um, <coughs> so it normally... For either of these pictures, okay, um, it looks like uh, x minus h all squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. Okay, so that's the, the standard form for an ellipse. Okay, so that's the form we're going to be trying to get in, and it applies to both of these. Okay, so it has center um, hk, okay, and then the x, uh, the, maybe I should say, um, the axis parallel to the x-axis has radius um, a, Okay, or maybe you might want to say diameter 2a if you're talking about the length of that axis. OK, 
Okay, and then similarly, I guess I'll write it down here, the axis um, parallel to the y-axis has a diameter uh, 2b, okay, so radius b. Um, so I can't use major and minor because it depends which one is bigger, a or b, okay, so the ax the, the major axis and the minor axis are different. So here, the A would be the major axis. Okay, so the major axis here would be, um, so maybe let's, I'm gonna fill this in. So the major axis in this one is parallel to the X axis, but in this one, it's parallel to the, uh, the Y axis. Okay, and the minor axis is parallel to the y-axis, but here it's parallel to the x-axis, um, depending on which one is shorter. Okay, so here A is bigger than B, um, and when A and B are the same, that's actually a circle. Okay, maybe I'll just write that. Note, if A equals B, then uh, it is a circle instead. Uh, okay, so that's the form. So let's do a couple of examples. Uh, I'm going to skip this first one and leave it for you to do, but let's do this one here. So graph the ellipse given by 9x squared plus 4y squared equals 36. Okay, so this is not in the form um, of the of the ellipse because remember in that it's always equal to 1 but we can make it in that form simply by dividing both sides by 36 okay so um, that's going to give x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equals 1 and then this is now in the form because it's x minus 0 squared over 2 squared plus y minus 0 squared over 3 squared equals 1. So now it's in the form, so we know that it has center 0, 0. The a value is 2 and the b value is 3. Okay, so that means that this is the major axis. So if we, it wants us to graph this, Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we, we can mark the middle, okay, the center is at zero, zero, and then in the X, it goes over two in each direction. Okay, so that's going to give us a point here and a point here. Okay, in the Y, it goes up 3 and down 3. So we get a point like that and a point like that. And then we can connect these points. Oh, it tried to make it into a circle. Shoot. Um, let's, I guess I can't use that. It was too close to a circle. Um, so we get an ellipse here. So something like that. So that's the equation of 9x squared plus 4y squared equals 36. Okay, so this point is at 2, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, negative 3, and 3, oh sorry, 0, 3. Okay, so that's sort of an uh, easier one because the center is at zero, zero. Okay, what if we have something like this? Okay, so we want to graph this equation. So we want to put it in um, the standard form. Okay, so what I'm going to do is factor out. So I need to complete the square because they have perfect squares in them. Um, so I see there's a 25 in front of the x squared and a 4 in front of the y squared. So for the x's, 
I'm going to factor out 25 so that I just have x squared. And when I do that from 150, I get plus 6x. Okay, for the y's, I'm going to factor out a 4, so I just have y squared. And when I take 4 from the 16y, I get a plus 4y. And then the plus 91 can just hang out over here. Um, okay. So now I want to complete the square in each of these. So in the brackets. Okay, so this is a little bit more complicated than the completing the square we've done before. But actually it's the same. Okay, but we just have to do it within that bracket. Okay, so half of 6 is 3. So that means that I want to add 3 squared, which is 9, which means I need to subtract 3 squared, which is 9. Now the only difference here is that I need to do both of those inside that bracket. Okay, so same over here. Okay, so half of 4 is 2. So I need to add 2 squared, which is 4, and also subtract oops, um, 2 squared. So add and subtract 4, again, within that bracket. Okay, and then I can um, add, so this part here is a perfect square, and this part here is a perfect square. So that's going to be 25 times x plus 3 all squared minus 9 plus 4 times y plus 2 squared minus the 4 plus 91. Um, so now that the, the careful part here is that these brackets are here. Right, so that means that the 25 actually goes to both things. The 4 actually goes to both things. Okay, so what we get is 25 x plus 3 all squared, and then 9 times 25 is going to be negative 225. Plus 4, maybe I should just put those in these arrows here. So then the 4, y plus 2 all squared. And then I have minus 16 plus 91. Okay, now if I put all the numbers together, negative 25 minus 16 uh, plus 91, I think I get uh, minus 150. Nine times twenty five. Okay, um, so then I get twenty five x plus three squared plus four y plus two squared is equal to one hundred and fifty if I move that over, but I want it to be equal to one, so I'm going to divide everything by one hundred and fifty. Okay, so then um, I get x plus 3 squared over 6 plus y plus 2 squared over um, 150 divided by 4 is actually a fraction, so it's 75 over 2, and that's going to equal 1. Okay, so then now I'm in the right form. So this tells me that my center is the point negative 3, negative 2. Okay, and my A value is the square root of 6. And my B value is the square root of 75 over 2. Or if you want, the square root of 37.5. Um, um, so now it does want us to graph this um, it's not a very nice one to graph Oops. so 
to start over. Okay, so I'm just going to do a rough sketch. So negative three, negative two. So there's sort of, oops. Um, let's say this is the center. And then we're going to go in the x direction, root six. Okay, so this is root six. This is root six. So that's, it's not going to be very far. And that's where we get points. And then root of 37.5. Uh, is going to be bigger. Okay, so here we're going root 37.5 on both sides to get our other point. Okay, so then our ellipse is going to look something like this. Okay, where this point here is negative 3, negative 2. Okay, so now when um, when you're in uh, this form, which I guess is the general form, how do you, so it looks a lot like what we had for the circles in the last section. How do you know when it's not a circle when it's an ellipse? Okay, so remember when we had the circle ones where we had coefficients in front of the x squared and the y squared, they were the same coefficient. So we could factor it out and get rid of it. Here they're different coefficients, so we could only factor out one of them. Um, so that's where, that's where the difference lies. So if you have something in this form, um, so ax squared plus bx plus cx, sorry, ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dx or dy plus e equals zero. If a and b are the same, that's when you get a circle. Okay, but if a and b are different, that's when you get the ellipse. Okay, so that's how you can tell uh, it's the coefficients in front of the squared terms. So if they match, then you can pull it out, and then you won't have these divide things. Um, they'll, they'll be the same, I guess, if you set it equal to 1. Um, but if they're different, that's when you're going to get the ellipse. So one of them's going to be longer than the other. Okay, now I'm going to leave these last two for you to do um, to make sure you understand uh, when you get a circle, when you get ellipse, and how you get them into the standard forms, okay, and the graphs. Um, but you should have enough information now to be able to do those.